right. All right, guys, welcome to episode 176 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and today we have a very special guest. Round of applause for Bad Angel. She's in the building. We're back with another one. We're looking good, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, thank everybody for tuning back in. How we feeling, guys? How we feeling? How we feeling? Good. Feeling, feeling good. great. Feeling great. Thanks for having me. I'm for excited. sure. We appreciate you coming through. We appreciate you coming through. Let's get right into it, Johnny Boy. Let's get it. Yo, so I was kind of stalking your page a little bit, you know what I mean? I did my research. I mean, mm -hmm. round of applause. Let's round of applause real quick because this is crazy, man. She got her OnlyFans. She's a model. By the way, she's going to be in my music video coming up, so yep. it's going to be pretty fucking And lit. that shit was a movie. I seen the clips, yeah. bro. That shit's a movie. Y'all did that. I can't that. wait to see it. That was, yeah, I really too. hope you send it to me when yeah. you oh, oh, yeah. I it's got dope. you. It's going to be dope. fucking lit. And it was my birthday, so, you know. Getting shit done, productive. <laughs> yeah, for real. She got uh, she got a YouTube channel, guys. Over four hundred and seventy five k subscribers. Jeez, man, round of applause. Round of applause. That shit's hard. Yeah. Bro. These numbers, <laughs> people don't understand how hard these numbers yeah, are to YouTube achieve. YouTube is hard to grow. What? We've been at this for what? Three years. Three years. Three man. years, bro. You know what I mean? It takes time, guys. You Next gotta month. stick to it. Next you month will be to it. your yeah. birthday. Yeah. Facts. Three yeah. years. That's crazy, bro. She already, bro. She got one point two million views. That's her most viewed. Video. I think it was like four years ago, right? Yeah. That was when I first got started, too. That's, That's when crazy. I had like 100,000. I think I got 100,000 subscribers in like a little over a month. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's amazing, though. Like, that's crazy. 100,000 subscribers in a month. Did you do any like like uh marketing or anything like that like i pushed from all my other social medias like every single day twice a day mm. like every video that i did i don't know i just pushed it on every platform i was on and i'm on a bunch of them right and especially right. instagram back when you could actually get like organic you know engagement but i would push all the time and i just got hundred thousand. that's awesome wow man. that's amazing like that's a hundred thousand in a month that's consistency that just means that you were on there working, you know what I mean? Like you were pushing yeah, your Yeah, I mean, I got like brands asking me like almost off rip, like, oh, hey, can you do a video on our stuff or like our Amazon stuff? And then I would do occasional, um, I would do occasional adult products mm -hmm. with like Adam and Eve every once in a while. Yeah. And I never knew at the time that that would be my niche. But right. when I tried to get more female followers, didn't work out. I literally tried for two years to be more like have a higher female engagement. And mm -hmm. I think it moved 2%. So it went wow. from like 96% male to 94% male in two years. <laughs> oh, <wow>. And <laughs> I was course. like, look, I knew like my audience, I knew exactly they're men. Like this right. isn't going to change. Yep. I tried to be the whole female driven, you know, uh, content, but mm -hmm. it wasn't working. And I was like, my audience is male. Let me market to them. And what do men like? Right, right. You know? That's and that's Listen, what we're getting and into. That's smart though. That's knowing your audience. Yeah, man. a there lot of go. people want to try to do things, and it's like it's not about what you like. It's about what your audience yeah, is looking for exactly. and what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, so that's smart. That's just a, a good business move at the yeah. end of the day. That's really fucking smart, and yeah. that's what we were talking about. We're like, bro, like men like beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Facts. Why? Women like beautiful women. What why? the fuck are yeah. we talking about? Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> And why do we have beautiful women in our music videos? Mm -hmm. like, like, let's just keep it a buck. They don't want to look at our ugly ass the whole yeah. time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they want to see some ass and titties. Yeah. 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 Like straight up. Straight and up. That's it just sells, what it is. Man. Like, listen, man, it sells. Sex sells. Yeah. It's, that was like literally the number one thing that started selling on this planet was pussy. Yeah. Like, and sex. It's like the oldest profession. Yeah. Like is. it's been around for forever. So it is what it is. You got to get with it or, you know, you know, what's, you know, what's wild to me is that. I also saw that you you uh, do reviews on dolls. Oh yeah, I have about twenty. Wow! By the That's names, amazing. bro. And by the way, Monica was amazing. Monica. 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 I kind of <laughs> like Monica low key. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, bro, she yeah. had like goose. Bro, they make it detailed. No, like, Monica had. I don't know it's what a sex they doll? did. Yeah, she, she has names. It's a torso doll. Really? Okay. So I, I work with one company for tor torso dolls, Tantally, and they send me like a bunch of different dolls. Um, they had like this one doll named Ava and her ass was like this big wow. and it was like Bro. just the ass, but it was like the biggest, <laughs> it's probably the heaviest doll that I have. 
<laughs> just torso. ass, bro. bro. The titties are real. Like you, That's you know, no, these Monica's titties, they are so squishy and bouncy. Like you can pull them apart and they'll just snap right back and they just wow. bounce like a real woman. Every man's dream. Yeah, bro. And you're <laughs> like, like ass she's is picking it up and shit. Like, well, she got, she got uh, two tunnels for the torso dolls, but I do full size dolls as well. So that means your mouth, mm. you know. Yeah. I didn't know they had Vaginal all these types of dolls, man. Bro, like, I've heard canal. of them, but... Bro, I saw the penis... something types of dolls. That's crazy. Bro, I saw a penis pump. We're in the wrong business, man. We need to make up a doll or something, bro. It was like <laughs> it was like a water jet penis pump. Yeah. That's what I saw. Mm -hmm. and you it, put like, water in it. Yeah. A it, water jet penis pump. And it was pump. like... It that was sounds crazy. Some hydro shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And that was wild. I was looking at and that. And this stuff was is like, like all coming out of China. Like they are so about the sex life over there. I don't understand. because They're like super communist. It <laughs> yeah. doesn't make oh, any because sense. They can't do it. I'm pretty uh, yeah, sure. It's like the craziest thing. But they all the dolls that I make, they're all they all come out of China. Like they make them right. those full size dolls. But they're a lot of money. Like, no, no, they're, that's what I'm saying. We're in the wrong business, man. <laughs> Bro. And bro. I'm pretty it's sure. Like two thousand. What do they go for? Two thousand dollars for the life size dolls for the torso dolls. It's like six hundred, seven hundred. Man. But but people travel have, with them, right? Well, yeah, I have like the ones that are portable where you can kind of fit it in your suitcase, but some of them are just way too big. I don't know. Jesus. Probably, like, Imagine TSA <laughs> check, dog. <laughs> Nothing but ass in your suitcase. That's all like, I, I thought. I didn't put that there. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't know where that came from. We're going to have to confiscate it's this. One I'm going to have to go look at this in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing finding a dildo in the back. You're like, ah, oh, it's a dildo. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Nah. But you find a whole doll. You're like, no, you can see. Shit. You can see a dildo yeah. like on TSA. They're little oh, yeah, wow. action they things. You can see the outline. I've probably, they've probably seen all yeah, types of Yeah, they've seen all types of They're shit. They're looking for bombs. They're not looking for big ass <laughs> dildos. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to touch that shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't know where that's been. <laughs> oh, shit. I also see that uh, you got that OnlyFans going. Mm hmm. That's popping. How's, how's that? Yeah. How did that start? So, thank you. Um, <laughs> I have been in sex work since before OnlyFans was popping. OnlyFans is fairly new. I mean, sex work has been going on for years since the internet even began. I was doing like premium Snapchat back in the day, like back in 2016, Damn. where I was taking money from like CirclePay. CirclePay's dead. I was taking money from Google Wallet. I think it's called Google Pay now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like mm -hmm. I was talking to these guys one on one, like send me $26. I'll add you to my premium Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And I was just doing this every day. And then I was making like $2,000 a week just doing that, getting my wow. money from that. So I started um, balling, bro. Not even yeah. touching these guys. Yeah, yeah. bro. That's a main, round of applause nah, again. That's a flex. I don't, I'm yeah. sorry. Hey, listen, man. You got to get it how you live, bro. You know? You either, you I was either... working at Staples. Fuck, man. I was working at Staples, and then I was like, I can be making more money like talking to these guys while standing behind the counter. Right. And then right. so I just I told them, don't put me on the next schedule. After I was making like $200 a day. Yeah, facts. I was like, don't put me on the next schedule. That's they were smart, like, well, where are you going to work? Where are you going next? I'm like, don't worry nowhere. about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> facts. <laughs> I'm going to my house. <laughs> facts. Don't worry about it. Nah, for real though, that's another good business move though, man. You can't move on to the next thing until that shit's making a certain amount of money. Yeah, a day. Yeah. Too many people leave early and then they get themselves in a situation. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I think it's important though to to take that risk. A lot of people oh, yeah. won't take that risk. Yeah, for like, sure. Like to quit the the day job. Because it's not guaranteed. But it, it, it definitely know? motivates you. Like, you got to get up. You got to work. Right. And I was doing, like, Snapchat takeovers. It was all about premium Snapchat back then. Like, that's they didn't have OnlyFans, like, a subscription base. Mm -hmm. okay. And so, I mean, I kind of made my own OnlyFans. I got um, some people in India to make me a website. And then I got an adult uh, content approved um payment processor had to go through the process of getting like approved by visa and mastercard okay that's like a thousand dollars a year and then you make the website which is like another 10 grand and then you can get it's so, basically like they pay you out so it's like getting taxed just to be able to oh yeah so to, um payment processors they usually take like maybe five percent but for mine, they took 10% because really? I was considered high risk. And what's oh, that? Wow. What's high risk? What's high risk? High risk is adult content because it's what? like there's a lot of chargebacks that go into it. Like guys just want to scam. Mm. And like, so what they'll sense. do is they'll charge, they'll, they'll pay for it. They'll mm -hmm. get the content. Yeah. And then with their bank, they'll refute the payment saying like, oh, I don't know what this is. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. so that's considered high risk. Hey, man, be a man. Yeah, you're not saying if you no, bought it, it, you bought it. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you bought it, post, you bought it. Dog. It's called post nut clarity. There's like a whole name for it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I believe in it. What the I fuck? believe in it. 
<laughs> it's like after they nut, they're like, oh my God, what did I just do? Yeah, I just spent 26 bucks. No, right? they get like guilty and they literally go through the process of refuting the payment on their card. I don't know about y'all, but my card makes me send, if I have a, a fraudulent payment, mm -hmm. they'll send me a whole new card. So that's like yeah. a whole ass process. <laughs> These guys will go through a whole ass process for $26 worth of a premium Snapchat payment. Oh my God. That's fucking nuts. That's crazy. Well, I mean, if I bought it, I'll be like, yo, bro, I'm staying for the next 30 days of this <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, oh, you fine, got me fucked bro. up. I'm yeah. paying for this yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like going to a strip club, paying a dance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't get a dance. No, nah, that's exactly that. what it is. Fuck that. That's exactly what it is. But yeah. They, they get the know. dance and then they somehow get the money back. Right. Well, let's get into it, man. I got a question for you. Hmm. Let's get straight into it. Do we or do you feel sorry for the guys that spend their money on women online? No, I think it's great. I think that's what men should be doing. Look Listen, at that. Man. I think it's better than... I think free porn should be illegal. I think Pornhub and X videos, all these places should not be there. How do they do I it agree. for free? Who gets paid? Like, how do they even afford it's all promotion. this? It's promotion. Wow. Yeah, it's all promotion for these big... It's shit. Like, like, it's have, the same shit. It's okay. like a, so it's like a 10-minute video usually on Pornhub, right? Yeah. And then you notice how much they cut out clips. Like, it's not the full thing. And a lot of men, they need way more than just 10 minutes of content. They need to see the before, after, and middle. They need mm -hmm. to see the whole story for them to reach their orgasm, right? So yeah. these big companies, they use these little tiny clips and they basically just promote the content and they promote mm. the porn stars. And so it's all just, you know, advertising. I've heard that like That's crazy. adult wow. adult film stars don't get paid like how people think they get paid. Is that true? As they, far as you know? Mm, they get paid like in the thousands to do something. Okay. But it's like... It's just like any type of contract work. It's not all the time. It's not like every single day they're making a like making a film. Mm. They could be doing like a ten thousand dollar job, but that could be the only job they have for the entire month. Mm. And they have like a lot of like their lifestyle to upkeep with that. Right. Right. Wow. That shit does get expensive. Yeah. I mean, if you don't watch porn, you're a fucking liar. Yeah. Who doesn't yeah. watch yeah. porn, bro? What the fuck? No, porn is amazing. I just feel like it shouldn't be free. No, I agree. I agree. And I think that it's fucking up the younger generation, too, mm -hmm. bro. Having such access, like so much access, bro. <laughs> No, for real. Not like, for think real. about yeah. that. Like, yeah. that shit's unnatural, too, Yeah, bro. too like, much? It, like, yeah. you have access to ridiculous amounts of porn, bro, at a young age. And that shit's not good for your development, dog. No, like, it's not. You start, for your mental and shit, bro, like, you start thinking unrealistic, ex you know, expectations and shit like that. Like, And that's going to my next good. question. Does size really matter? Your personal opinion. <laughs> fuck everything else. Fuck everybody. I think to a certain point, yes. I, if it's like too small, obviously, like she's not gonna be doing much with that. But I guess right. if your tongue game's good, then it doesn't really matter. She'll like you I've for you that, in yeah. tongue game. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard I've, like as long as you have tongue game or, or finger game or no, whatever I, the I don't as know. As long like, as she's getting hers, is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I've had a girl. There, there's guys with like big like whopper dicks, and they just don't know what to do with it. They, <laughs> they they assume that like oh it's big like she's obviously pleased because they're watching porn all the time and they see these big guys with these big dicks and they're not doing anything but fucking her right. Right. Yeah, so they just right. assume like oh she has to be enjoying it because I have. A big dick but really mm -hmm. it's not true like just the penetration alone of a big dick can actually be painful and you won't like it yeah i've heard that i've wow. heard that I, I would prefer like a medium-sized dick with like thickness i think thickness matters. yeah i had a girl <laughs> ask me if i had a chode because she likes chodes hey that's yeah, a, fetish, a, thick, dog. a thick dick you know I mean? yeah and i was just like i mean i don't know i mean i guess like, like <laughs> why don't why don't we find out yeah oh shit <laughs> real shit nah man swing it out johnny nah but she, she was athletic as fuck too which was mm. crazy. Like, it was the craziest type of sex I ever had. It's a fetish, man. She had, like, kung fu She pussy. was, like, super... Oh, that grip is crazy. No, man. she was, like, super, super wet. And it was, like, crazy. It sounded like a... Are you serious? <laughs> it was so fucking wet. I was like, holy shit. This is crazy. I Wait, is that good if it's, like, too wet? Nah, if it's, I think like, it's super amazing. slip, really? Yeah, I think if that's it's, amazing. If it's, like, crazy uh, slippery... Slippers? If yeah. it's a slip and slide, No, but you just it's... keep slipping in and out. Like, yeah. isn't that annoying for you guys? I hate it when just... it's dry. Yeah, okay. It, I feel like so you're saying yeah. the two happy extremes. Medium. You'd rather have. I'd rather have more yeah, wet, have wet than pussy more than dry. dry pussy yeah, I'd rather. Yeah, yeah. that's for sure. That's I feel like sure. the slip and slide can be irritating for a guy. Uh, I mean, it's everyone's fun. different. It's all fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's all fun. Yeah, everyone, everyone's fucking different. You know what I mean? I guess so. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I know some women that can't get wet. Really? Like, yeah. They can go to the doctor for that though. Yeah, that's like. Is that like a pH thing or like what? I don't it's know. Like I don't a, know. It's like a. It's called vaginal dryness, and it's like a wow. condition. Just oh, like man. men who who can't stay hard for like a long period of time. 
Mm. It's like everybody got problems. Well, I think yeah, once you get true. like older, it all just yeah. fails yeah. on you. Guys, take advantage of your bodies, bro. The older you get, the more fucked it gets for sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you gotta take a pill, forget about it. Yeah, yeah bro. But I know real. guys you that are like young done. that have to take pills, and I'm just like, fuck, man. Like, I know yeah. guys that fuck themselves up through drugs, like dead ass. Like they just got oh, erectile yeah. dysfunction because like too much cocaine, or, or like, they jerked it too much. That too. That no, that, that is too, a that's big bad. That's a thing. And, and that's what I'm talking about to these younger dudes. That's Staying exactly healthy. what I mean. Like yeah. these, some kids are jerking off four much. or five times a day. Yeah. Like brother, no, for real, relax. That's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. Like, no, it's really unhealthy. That's bad. That that's would bad. definitely bring down your testosterone, bro. You're gonna be no, and men need testosterone. There's like an epidemic. No, yeah, it's been in this yeah. day and age with testosterone. Mm -hmm. They're saying that from like a hundred years yep. ago or some shit like that, men's testosterone has dropped like ten percent yeah. on average, which is bad. Like in my opinion, bro. Like it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's probably like has to do with like other what's shit. to blame. Food There's just yeah, maybe food. All types of shit. I, I feel Environmental. Like. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out, right? Yeah. Another but hundred we years. Won't. Yeah, yeah we right. will, but our kids will. <laughs> fucking the next hundred years, we're gonna have guys that fucking get, can't grow beards at all. Yeah, they yeah. can't fucking. Oh, they're yeah. not strong. That's true. You notice that? Yeah, a lot. I feel like guys are getting smaller at too. I don't know. They're losing hair. That was fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a sign of high testosterone. Because like, <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> Y'all pause, like, oh shit. That's a, you know that's a sign of high testosterone, right? For real? Being bald, I swear. Wow, okay. Well, hey, that. say, hey, I didn't know that. That's I didn't know shit. that. Surround of applause to the bald guys bro. out there, man. Y'all get it. Y'all Yo. get your testosterone on, bro. No, but that's a good look. The no. bald with the beard. That's just smooth. No, that's bro. that's a that's a whole move. Like, that's just smooth. Hey, once that's you've smooth. graduated to be able to pull yeah. that off, like you should mm -hmm. be proud of yourself. Oh yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I love bro. it. It changed my life. No, not every guy can pull that off. Nah, really? You wow. need to have the head for it. I told you. You that. heard that, guys? I told you that, motherfuckers. Nah, that's funny. So um. Yeah, I had a, I had a couple more questions for you, which were pretty interesting. Um, okay. What do you think about this whole abortion thing? Let's get into it. I saw your post on Instagram, uh -huh. and I agree with everything you were saying. Wow! Round of a motherfucking applause. I have a goes. son. I have a three year old. Wow! Right. So I've been pregnant before. And you know exactly what you got into. I mm. knew exactly what I was doing when I got pregnant. And I think a lot of the problem in our country today is accountability. People just don't take it. Mm. Nobody takes responsibility for anything that they do, especially in the government. And that's like on both sides. I no agree. one no one takes responsibility for the, the things that they do that harm people. And no one faces consequences either for like things that they do. Like all those lockdowns, like no one's really dealing with that. Like yeah. Fauci is still running around with his little ass, like talking and doing little interviews, getting paid millions of dollars. And I mean, a lot of problems that people have, like high suicide rates. I mean, it's kind of because of him. I agree. I agree. There's a lot of things that have been going on that like, like you said, people just don't want to take the blame for it. Nobody yeah. wants to take the blame for like. And when the there's no blame, into there's a depression no or anything like it's just like if no one takes the blame, then no one takes, you know, punishment for that. No one. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, man. It's like and that's the they thing get with away abortion. with murder, bro. Literally. Yes. They'll get away with murder. And then like they make their millions. Well, they've they been doing it for years. Yeah. Like they reelect their own boys mm -hmm. 10 years later. Like and it's all it's all just a game, bro. It's all facade to keep. To keep the money coming It's all in. about power, I think, for a lot of them. Yeah, and I agree. And because they're so disconnected. It's not just about money. Like, people think that it's about money. All these guys have are stupid rich. At that point, it just becomes about control. Yeah. It becomes about who, who has the most power. Who yes. could control the most. Who could do the most. Who could set the laws. Who could negate laws. Like, it's all a game. Well, but, Roe versus Wade was a bad law. I mean, it... it so uh, getting an abortion is not a constitutional right and it never was. And that's right. what a lot of people get wrong. Like I actually like Biden himself, like said in an interview, like the other day um, when on Friday, when it happened, he said like, oh, they're like um, infringing on their constitutional right and like to privacy. I'm like, no, no, no. 
uh, abortion is not a constitutional right. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can't just say that you have a, yeah, you have a constitutional right to privacy, but you don't have a constitutional right to an abortion. Like you need to go through so much. Mm -hmm. You have to get approval from a lot of states. And I know some people might not understand this, but not everybody thinks the same as them. There's a lot of states that are really against abortion and they really find it to be just horrible. Disturbing. And it's not a religious thing. It's a moral thing at the mm-hmm. end of the day and uh, florida law july 1st it comes into um effect that um up until 15 weeks it'll be legal so if you get you know 15 weeks in a day and you're trying to get an abortion you'll be persecuted mm. and i think mm. 15 weeks i'm sorry girl but you had time yeah to make up your mind yeah 15 Seriously. weeks no and you know bro. that's what's past the first trimester right by that time i was showing and i could feel him moving mm-hmm. so so you have something alive inside you. I mean, yeah. you've had something alive inside you the whole time. And you time, know it's there. Yeah. It's and big... you haven't had a period in quite a while, so. Right. You know something's right. gone on. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's, you can't just, you, you need to be accountable. Like, take responsibility for the choices that you made. And it's also kind of putting, yeah. I agree, man. What about the people that say, oh, but fucking percent. I was fucking raped. And I was see, molested. That's a, that's and a I was different, like, that's a different scenario. That's a different, different story. That's a different right? scenario. And that's what I told them. But see, this is what you, when you, when they say that, say, okay, that's less than 1% of the abortions that are happening. Mm-hmm. And you say, okay, so let, let's, let's say no abortions unless in, in the case of rape or incest, right? Mm-hmm. They're not going to accept that. That's not good enough for them. So it doesn't matter if they bring up that argument anyways, because right. they're not going to accept it. Even if you say, okay, every abortion is illegal, but those. They mm. still won't accept it. It's not good enough for them. They want it up until 34 weeks, 35 weeks, until the baby doesn't even come out yet, right before. It's That's okay. That's crazy to me, man. And hey, if you want to go abort your baby at 34 weeks, go to California. They'll be happy to welcome you. Yeah. Take a flight. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but I completely agree. It just comes down to people not taking accountability for their actions, man. Yeah. Like, if you're an adult, bro. You know what you, you were doing. Le- exactly. You know like, what you know, were getting into. You didn't into. use protection. You know what you were doing. Yeah. You knew there was, even if it's just a night of fun, you know there's that possibility that you could end up pregnant if you don't take the, you know, the precautions and to fucking not, avoid it's it. It's not just on the woman, though. Like, it's... It's not. The man has to take responsibility. Like, you know what you were doing when you were busting inside. But it's I think that's fucked science. up, too, yeah. because... Oh, it happens. I've, yes, I've, seen, exactly. I've seen women get abortions and the dad doesn't want the abortion. Yeah. And that's so... Like, I feel like that's so fucked up. And they'll only you hold a man accountable when the baby's born, right? Right. Like, if They're he, like, oh, you need to pay. You need to pay. You need to take care right, of that kid. Right, but he has no 50%. say if his kid could be alive. He has no say if his kid could be alive, but then if the kid's here, he has to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like to me, that's fucked up. Like, at least let me take care of the kid. You live your life, and I'll I'll be a fucking single father and take care of my fucking kid. Yeah, Straight the fuck up. And I think it's really discrediting a lot of fathers that way. Like, you're giving them no say in something that they should have every say in. And it's so funny to me Mm -hmm. that when the baby comes, you want him to have so much responsibility financially, right? But, oh, before the baby's born, you have no say. It's not, it's not... doesn't have to do with you you're not a woman it should mm-hmm. be up to a woman right and i just i i feel like that's hypocritical and i feel like it, it really is disingenuous and it's making it um hard for women to even to to make a man step up and do what he's supposed to do like you're basically telling them that it's it's not it's not your problem it's her problem yeah. right. she, she should deal with it not you right yeah. but that just comes back down to like men and women getting further away from their natural gender roles you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying like that like back in the day Which it was different on. and people are like oh mm-hmm. like i feel like as much as people talk about women back in the day a lot of them were oppressed a lot of them couldn't speak up and they couldn't speak out and they were in those situations but a lot of them were very happy bro the man yeah. went to work took care of things like that's every, how you know it was I mean? always like, for right. like time traditional right. since the beginning of and time i feel like <laughs> there's a, a reason lot why. of men a lot of men nowadays aren't men like, mm-hmm. they don't take that responsibility. And that's fucked up. Like, if you make a child, bro, whether you were planning it or not, but you, you it's your responsibility. You know what you were doing. Yeah, you no, know what I mean? Like, you course, need to take responsibility. Like, you know if you bust in a girl, there's a chance. It's yep. really that simple. Even if you don't. Yep. And I tell my boys this all the time. Bro, I know girls that have gotten pregnant off a of pre-cum. Mm. I don't know. I got some opinions on pre cum. I feel like I don't no, think, I don't think I he like, pulled out right on time. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, there's certain guys yeah. that you pre cum while you're you know throughout the process. There's got there's guys that could pre cum a few times. You know what I'm saying before they actually bust a nut. And it's I feel like it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a she lot for you bro. to get for you to get pregnant. Okay, so let me tell you how I got pregnant. We were pulling out since we met each other. 
And the second we stopped pulling out, I was pregnant a month later. So, <laughs> oh, and then we started pulling out ever since I had the baby. Mm, not pregnant again. I got advice. So you think guy. pulling out works? No, he has like pull out the best pull out game I've ever seen. It ever. works. I knew it. See, round of applause. Pull out game does work. No, but it's like a it's a practice. Really? I, he says it's really not easy, and a lot of guys just can't do it. But he could be like tooting his own horn, you know. No, nah, I, I think it's no, true. but he's really. Good I think it. it's true because some guys. Like it's no, it's no fucking like. They don't give you any caution. They don't do anything. They just. But bust honestly, a nut, though, it's like you know? a lot of it's a lot of women too. Like they just let that happen. Yeah, of course. And it's like every course. time, like I've talked to girls. I'm like, girl, every time he's coming inside you, yeah. Why? Why don't you say something like I don't yeah. like that, or just don't have sex with him again? Right. Like, I, like right. I really don't like that you're coming inside. Like I'm not on birth control, and not to mention that is unsanitary to be coming inside every day, yeah, every time no, you have no, sex. I don't do that. It I don't takes think, like 24 hours for that stuff to clear. That's nasty, bro. I like that cream pie shit, whatever the fuck you call it. Like, no, nah, I don't. I never. I can't say never. I've done it. I've done yeah, it before. Yeah, it's different but if it's like your like woman to. or your girl, whatever. But like, yeah. I don't know. Not, not I, every time. You know yeah, what I mean? Not every time. Not every yeah. time. Unless you're like, trying. Unless you're trying. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Unless you're trying Facts. to. That's I different. Agree. Yeah. I completely agree. And there's some agree. people that can't. And I'm sorry. That's that's a shitty situation. The people that that can't have kids and shit like that. That sucks. That's a shitty situation. Yeah. That's really rare that's, though. That is really, really rare. No, yeah. I, I feel like people try to mainstream it, but it's like super rare. It's wow. so e it's so easy to get pregnant. I didn't yeah. know that. I <laughs> no, thought it was like a common no, thing. No, it is crazy easy to get pregnant. It is not that common. <laughs> now, some women get pregnant like damn near by looking at them, bro. Yeah. Like for real. Like some girls are like so fertile, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, some girls are so fertile, pre come will get it done. Mm, I don't know. I'm telling I'm, you. I'm telling you. I think is, it, ain't, it ain't got no swimmers in there. <laughs> I really think. <laughs> <laughs> she said the sailors ain't in the no, that was no. real. You ain't got no son. <laughs> it's, it's when you put the whole load in there. I'm just saying. Jesus Christ. And this is over like I'm years, a like a half a decade of experience with the same guy. Right. That's right. good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Like, Round of applause no, to you, yeah. man. Round of applause to you. I feel like a lot of people don't explore their sexuality, man. Uh, I feel like it's such a taboo thing still. Yeah. Like, like. Oh, I would give him all my toys. So oh, you yeah. go have fun. <laughs> yeah, well, what? Facts. I'm honestly like, I, I can't do nothing with him. <laughs> no, I like it. But he said, like, it's always better with a woman, obviously. But yeah, it's oh, fun, no, you know? Sure. I'm for sure every man's curious when you have a big ass sex doll, like, sitting in your house. And Bro, when yeah. you have the biggest ass you've ever seen on biggest your table, yes. it's like, dog. Hold I feel on. like that's super important, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Bouncing all over the no, place. And, and he's an ass guy. Top. He's an ass guy, so you know he can resist. Yeah, but yeah, I feel so like most heavy. guys are. Yeah, most guys are. I don't. I don't guys. care for titties too much, but like unless I, you got them, right? Unless you got them, like if they're that's nice. That's a plus. So, yeah. That's a plus. There, it's yeah. just a bonus. There was this girl, the the black the black girl I was with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She had nice tits and she had nice ass, and it was beautiful because mm. they were real. And like I would like sit back and I'm just like ah, you know. <laughs> and it was like yeah, perfect, you know. But she got ass too, and it was like she was like a cheerleader. So she had that cheerleader body. It was like one of those, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, yeah it was that awesome. sounds amazing. Yeah, it was that awesome. Sound amazing. She is crazy though. She took my blunt. <laughs> what? She drove off with my blunt. I thought you, your blood. No, no, my blunt, my oh, actual blunt. Oh, like, she's she crazy as hell. She got mad at me and drove off. Ritual she's about to do with your ass. Oh no, nah, hell no. That's with crazy. Your so. blunt? No, she took my blunt. Yeah, we got into an argument and then. Like, and that was the end of it. You never saw her. No, again? no, no. We texted and shit. We hung oh. out a couple more times. <laughs> so but she it is was crazy. Toxic. She yeah. came back. It was toxic. Yeah, yeah. She let me come back over and shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was a good time. Do you guys believe that like? your zodiac sign yes it has like a real match with somebody no i think that's all horseshit he's a leo i'm a gemini i think it's all horseshit you're a gemini yeah i actually know a lot of really nice gemini's people say such crazy things about them but i feel like they're the sweetest yeah no gemini's are te big teddy bears yeah yeah, yeah we yeah. act hard but they try I mean? to make them like seem like they have double personalities and i disagree yeah maybe yeah. like one sexual personality and one other personality that makes sense yeah that makes more sense that makes a but lot that's, of sense is that a bad thing no it's that's not a good yeah, thing. i feel like women like that no I yeah feel like that, you should no, have women that. like to be surprised yeah you and should you, you should be a gentleman in the streets and a freak in the it's in the white streets, guys you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. straight up white Who said guys that? are the most <laughs> crazy in bed you said what white guys are the craziest in bed Let's yeah, no, white guys, guys will are... surprise you. They'll be like the <laughs> sweetest guy, and then you get to bed with them, and it's so fucking crazy what they do. Yeah, they're we're about shit. to wrap it up. This white is our boys. first episode. But we listen, got like man. 
60 seconds left. I don't want to interrupt you. I'm sorry. We appreciate everybody for rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And last but not least, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Bye. Bye.